Hi there, parents and caregivers. Welcome to our channel. If you've ever found yourself in the tricky territory of mealtime battles with your toddlers, you're definitely in the right place. This is Eager Little Beavers, and today we're diving into a topic that's near and dear to every parent's heart, managing picky eaters and toddlers. We know how challenging it can be when your little one suddenly decides that vegetables are from another planet or that anything remotely green is just not on their menu. But fear not, we've got your back with some amazing tips, strategies and expert insights to help you navigate through this phase. So if you're ready to turn those frowns at the dinner table into smiles of delight, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and join us in this exciting journey of managing picky eaters and toddlers. Remember, every small step you take now lays the foundation for a lifetime of healthy eating habits. Now let's get into it. Number one, be patient and persistent when dealing with picky eaters. Toddlers may need repeated exposure to new foods before accepting them. So don't just give up after just a few attempts. It takes a while. Number two, Offer a variety of healthy foods, including fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and proteins. Offering a diverse selection of foods increases the chance that your toddler will find something they like. Number three, create a positive eating environment. Making mealtimes enjoyable and stress-free. Avoid the power struggles and the pressure to eat. Instead, focus on having pleasant family mealtimes together as well. Number four, set a good example. Now, children often model their behavior after their parents, so you have to try to be a positive role model when it comes to food choices. You need to eat a variety of foods yourself, including fruits and vegetables, and avoid making negative comments about certain foods. Number five, involve your toddler in meal planning and preparation. Include your child in the process of choosing and preparing meals. Trust me, they'll love it. This involvement can increase their interest in trying new foods. Number six, serve small portions. Serving small portions of new or disliked foods allows the pressure to be reduced and the child may feel more willing to try them. Number seven, be creative with food presentation. Try and make the food visually appealing to children. It doesn't have to be so complex. You could just use fun shapes or arrange foods in patterns to make them more enticing. Maybe add some googly eyes. Number eight, don't use food as a reward or punishment. Do not use food as a reward for good behavior or withholding it as a punishment. This approach may lead to an unhealthy relationship with food. Number nine, don't force or bribe. Now, what experts say is that forcing a child to eat a particular food or bribing them with rewards can backfire and create negative associations with that food, and we don't want that. Number 10, be mindful of excessive consumption of juices, milk, or sugary drinks, as they can fill up a toddler's appetite, making them less likely to try new foods. So try and limit those snacks. Remember that every child is different and what works for one might not work for another. If you have concerns about your child's eating habits or nutrition, consult with a pediatrician or a registered dietitian who specializes in pediatric nutrition. They can provide personalized advice and guidance based on your child's specific needs. Good luck. Thank you so much for watching our video and we really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for more interesting and informative parental support.